What's good? What's poppin', man? It's your boy, Helvy. So I know I've been gone for a week, man. Like I told y'all, I was doing the detox, right? In my detox video, I let y'all know that I was gonna do a detox, a slight detox. Unplugged from social media for a little bit. That includes YouTube. So that's all that was. And during that time span, I actually picked up a new job. I picked up a job, car detailing. You feel me? So I'm not gonna be posting every day. I wanna get to that point where I'm still posting every day. But I think just trying to do that right off the bat, I'm going to extremely exhaust myself because I got to wean myself into that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to I'm 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 deplete my energy if I'm trying to do what I do my daily routine and go to work because that job takes, that shit take my whole day. I'm sorry. Aside from that, man, today's video, bro, I just got to, I just got to address something, man. I really got to address this with the older generation, right? Our parents, right? You feel me? Like, bro, at this point, bro, this is how I feel about the world right now, bro. This is how I feel. If you ain't a conspiracy theorist, we all know that word conspiracy. It's just a word to truly hide the truth. There are some theories out there that are truly conspiracy. I wouldn't say every conspiracy theory is true, but dog, there'd be a lot of conspiracy theories that be true, bro, but because y'all label it conspiracy, to, 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 to the to the plug in the matrix mind motherfucker when they hear that word conspiracy it automatically just ah uh, ew no okay get away from me with that you're a conspiracy theorist ew you know what I'm saying and that's 80% of the world that's 80% of the world probably more than that you know what I'm saying so like this is how I feel bro excuse me if you're not a conspiracy theorist then you don't really know anything. Yep. If you're not a conspiracy theorist, you don't really know anything. Why do I say that? Because there's a lot, of, we got majority of Americans, right, within our country. Every four years, these niggas be ready to claw each other. They be ready to rip each other's heads off. They be ready to do all types of chaotic ass shit over who we're gonna elect for the, for the next president, right? That we be ready to do all kinds of chaotic shit over who gonna be the next president. When we really think we have a fucking choice in who gonna be, who gonna run this country correctly, correctly, because every two candidates that they that they pick, they picked. We ain't picked those candidates. We picked two of the ones that they picked. We have no, bro. We have, we are not in charge of who we get to vote for. They pick who we vote for, and we vote for them. And both of those motherfuckers work for them. And 80% of the world don't know that both these motherfuckers is pedophiles. Both of them. Nobody knows that. Like, bro, like the younger generation, my generation, I'm 23. So my generation is about 25 through, I want to say 15, right? 25 through 15. That's, that's my generation. People around that age, they kind of see this shit, bro. They kind of like see this reality for what it really is. But like... People older than that or kids younger than that that are programmed by people older than that, they're, they're, they're too programmed, bro. Kids, the kids have a chance to wake up out of it. But the parents, bro, when it comes to when it comes to old folk, bro, they either gonna hear it or they're not. You know what I'm saying? Like we 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 don't really got no control over that. It's really like talking to a wall, trying to get a parent to see what's really going on. Like my dad and his girlfriend. If I were to tell them that Joe Biden eats children, rapes them, tortures them, and the whole government does that, they'll probably kick me out the fucking house. Real shit. They'll probably kick me out the fucking house and leave me on the street. Or they'll just, from that point on, they'll, their energy towards me will be completely different because they'll just think I'm just fucking nuts. For real. Like, all the parents, they're not hearing that shit, bro. So, like, it's just so funny to me. How people be so like, bro, they be so passionate, bro. Like, you, you see all kind of celebrities, you know what I'm saying, telling people, I just voted for blah, 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 go vote. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they, and they really think they doing something. Like, people be getting, getting, getting into all this political terminology. You feeling me? Conservative, liberal, and all that bullshit. They be really getting into all this political terminology, identifying themselves with shit. Like, and, and really thinking that they doing something. Like, for real. 
Like, that shit is just an illusion, bro. Politics. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm going to be honest with y'all right here. I used to think... I was one of those people that used to feel like Trump was taking down these pedophiles. Right? I, I used to be one of those people that, that would think like that, right? Just recently, I started to think back, think back a little more on Trump, you know what I'm saying? Like, really meditate on that nigga. Like, it kind of confuses me that this nigga is in The Simpsons, right? And that's their show. A lot of this shit that's in The Simpsons, that shit come true. That shit's not, that shit is their show, bro. They got the Freemason symbol, Illuminati symbol, all that shit within The Simpsons. That's like their main show. And Trump is in it. They predicted Trump being president in it. So, like, that right there, because, like, let's, let's be honest. They knew that this shit was coming, right? This, this solar flare, right, in 2020, they knew that this day was going to come. That's why there's been so many events going on this year. You feel me? To collect that little bit of fear that they can out of us before this shit happens. Because I'm going to keep it a buck, right? Y'all over here, like, I know y'all hear a lot of people say, you know what I'm saying? That like, bro, when you're when you fear, when you're in fear, when you're scared, when you're angry, there's something feeding off that energy. There is. There is something feeding off that energy. Because what we gotta keep in mind, bro, is the fourth dimension. It's right here. It's right here. There's there's a lot of shit that our two eyes can't see within the whole electromagnetic spectrum. Like for real. Like, bro, there could be a ghost sitting right there just walking behind me watching what I'm doing, but I can't see that nigga, bro, because he's in another dimension. Like, they're all right here. So, like, when you're in fear, there is something literally feeding off your energy. Like, you feel it inside you. Yes, that feeling, you feel it inside you. That is literally an entity in another dimension feeding off your energy. It's real. It's real. Wake up. I felt it before. Juice World made a song. Juice World, on Juice World's last album before he died, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't sing this song. He had Brent Fayez sing this song. I don't know if y'all fuck with Brent Fayez, but that nigga tough. Fuck with that nigga album. But yeah, he had Brent Fayez sing this interlude on this album, on the, on the, on the last album he dropped before he died. It's called Demons. The song's called Demons. I'm pretty sure Juice World wrote it. But the lyrics was like, you can feel it inside you. Don't let it in. It likes you, bro. That shit is real. When you when you're in fear, and you're scared. Something's literally inside your stomach, in another dimension, feeding off your energy. That's why they put so much fear in the news. That's why so much shit happened this year, bro. Cause this event, this 2020 Soul for event, they know that shit coming, bro. So yeah, aside from that, man, back to Trump, right? They knew. That this event was gonna come, this solar flare event, and they knew that a lot of people were gonna wake up around this time. So they've been preparing for this. They had to, they, they, because because they keep the real information, our true history, because they study astrology and they know when is this shit gonna happen. They were able to prepare for it a long time ago. So that is, I feel like. I feel like Trump is part of their control opposition plan. Like for the people who woke, like they 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 can tune in to shit, some shit that Trump be saying. They can see that, bro. Dang, like this man might be trying to take out the pedophiles. But if you don't really, if you don't really like examine that nigga, you know what I'm saying? It might be hard to pick up that this nigga is controlled opposition. Like I don't know if this is true or not, but it, it could be. I'm starting to feel like that's what it is, bro. Yeah, man. I just I just find this so ironic, bro, that people be people be going crazy over politics, bro. They be going crazy over these politics and none of those niggas give a fuck about us. None of them. Nigga. If politicians gave a fuck about urban areas, niggas really struggling going through it. They would have been did something to get us up out of that shit, bro. They would have been did something to get niggas up out of that shit if they truly care about their people. And they could have been did something to help people who really struggle because look what's going on right now. Look what happened this year. This coronavirus broke out and now everybody within the country struggling, going through it. So what they do, they sent out a $1,200 stimulus to everybody who paid taxes.
bro. They, they got the money. You know what I'm saying? And they can make any law that they want to make. They can do anything if they really wanted to do it. The truth is, they don't. Because they don't care. But no. Instead, what they do is they portray an illusion. Right? They, they portray illusions for us that they're going to help us. How do they do this? My nigga. Okay, what, what, type of, what type of government we got? We don't got one type of government. Well, we do have one type of government, but they portray two types of government to us. What are the two types of government they portray to us? A republic and a democracy. Now, what is a republic? A republic is a government ruled by law. Whatever is written down, if you break anything within the confines of what's written down, that's your ass. You're getting locked up. Okay? So that's 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 a republic. Law is what rules the, the masses. Now, what's a democracy? A democracy is where a majority rules. You know what I'm saying? That's why we that's why we vote. That's why we vote and that's why we follow the laws cuz we we got two types of government. Otherwise, if we were just a democracy, we would vote when crimes happen. We would vote on what to do and the result of, of a crime happening. You get me? And we kind of do. We kind of do. You feel me? We, that's why we have a jury. Before you contradiction cops out there, don't try to say I contradicted myself. When you're still in, in the court of law, you're still in that courtroom in the first place because you broke a law. You're still in that position in the first place because you broke a law. They're just mixing this shit in with each other. A democracy and a republic. But we truly, we truly only have one type of government. And what is that? We're truly ran by an oligarchy, bro. What's the oligarchy? An oligarchy is a, a government ruled by an elite group of people. Through control. And it's usually for selfish reasons. That's an oligarchy. So our government literally portrays two types of government to the people. And what do we do? We identify with one or the other. Republicans and Democrats. It's literally a gang, except it, it, it's literally like a fucking gang, bro. The Kendrick Lamar said this shit. Democrats and Republicans, which one you siding with? Like, bro, them niggas ain't no different from gangs. They just give them guns, drugs, and call them thugs, and giving their promises to fuck with you. You feel me? Oh, bro, that's, that's Kendrick Lamar lyrics right there. <laughs> but it's just crazy, bro. Like, and, and, and the funny thing is, bro, our government, what our government really is, is an oligarchy. Our government really is an oligarchy, bro. So what they do is they portray the illusion that these two groups of people are trying to unite us as one when you have motherfuckers identifying with each side. It's like black and white. You have people identifying with Democrat and Republican and they're never gonna see eye to eye because they have two completely different belief systems. What the fuck? Why are we one nation identifying with two different types of government? What the, it's just, it's just set up from the beginning. It's a fucking illusion from the beginning, bro. Like, bro, that shit is like two parents trying to raise their kids. It's like two parents trying to raise five children. And the mom thinks we should be a little more strict and punish them every time they do wrong. And the dad thinks that we should try to sit them down and talk to them. You know what I'm saying? We should try to talk to them. We should, we should, we should give them treats. We should, we should show them the way on how to do better. When they do wrong. But, but the mom's just like, nah, fuck that. We should just beat their ass when they do wrong. They'll learn. They'll learn. That's literally... Like, does that, does that even make sense? Two parents that can't come to a, an agreement on how to raise their children. How do you think the children are going to be? I'm telling y'all, bro. Y'all need to get out of this fucking... <laughs> nigga, stop fucking with the government. The government don't give a fuck about none of us. Especially black people. Especially Hispanics. Especially if you're not white. And honestly, if you're poor and white, they don't give a fuck about you either. For real. So, right, bro, let, 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 let's get about this illusion, bro. Everything not a fucking conspiracy, bro. These niggas is really taking our children, raping our children, and filleting their face open and drinking blood. Why are they doing this type of shit? Because they're not human. They're not human.
Literally, like all this time, it's been 6,000 years, right? They tell us humanity only dates back 6,000 years. And we wonder why we ain't never seen no aliens. We just act, we, act, we think about that shit a lot. How could we ever seen no aliens outside, out, out, out before? We know, we know that we can't be the only ones in this galaxy. Nigga, they here. They're right here on Earth, and they've been here. <laughs> they've been here. Why you think no one can't go to Antarctica? And do y'all even know how big Antarctica is? Nigga. Antarctica bigger than Africa. Antarctica is bigger than Africa. And no, it ain't no, oh, because it's too cold, you idiot. That's why you can't go to Antarctica, you fucking dumbass. We'll freeze to death. My nigga, shut the fuck up, bro. We can live in any habitat if you want to keep it a buck. We, like, technology has come so far, bro. The human mind, the consciousness has come so far. Humans can find a way to survive in Antarctica. Shut the fuck up. Humans go there all the time. So, not, not humans, but you know what? That's, that's another video, bro. But like, bro, no one can go to Antarctica, bro. I just want y'all to think on that, bro. Why do you think that is, bro? These motherfuckers that eat these children aren't human, man. Real talk. And so, hey. For those of you who are like... You know, for people who don't really want to like, there are some people who hear conspiracies and they're just like, oh, no, I don't want to hear it. I, I, I just can't. I just can't. I just, ah, no, nah, man, it's just too much. And a piece of them kind of like believes it to be true. They just don't want to know about it. The same way we don't want to know what kids in third world countries are truly going through. We don't want to put our consciousness on it because it'll make us feel guilty for the way we fucking act like some spoiled fucking brats. No, we really have a lot. You feel me? So, like, for you people who don't want to look into conspiracies, this child trafficking shit, because it's too, like, gruesome, it's, it's just too sick for your mind to bear, that's fine. Honestly, that's fine. There's people doing it. There's a lot of people doing it. We don't need you to do it. Not saying that in a mean or rude way, but, like, bro, there's a lot of people looking into this shit, bro. So, like, if y'all just sit back and let the people who are trying to get this information out get it out, Dog, we're going to get these niggas, bro. We're going to round these niggas up. But, like, for you people that hear this, hear this conspiracy shit, like, my thing is, bro, don't have so much to say when niggas is getting this information out telling these people that it's conspiracy and you don't even want to look into it. Just don't have so much to fucking say. You feel me? I'm trying to debunk some shit that you don't even research. You feel me? Leave it to the people who truly looking into this shit that want to see the world change. I be wondering why the world's so fucked up. It's because of these niggas. No one thinks that these niggas exist. And that's the reason why they've been able to do it for millennia. It's conspiracy. What crazy thing is, bro, that term conspiracy, bro, that shit really came to light in the 60s. That term was created in the 60s after JFK got shot by the CIA. So that people wouldn't ask questions. So that people wouldn't question the truth. And you want to know what else happened in the 60s? I know y'all heard a lot of YouTubers saying that we're in the Aquarian age. Like, it just happened. Bro, we've been in the Aquarian age since the 60s. That's why you've seen a lot of civil rights protesting. When, when, when did Martin Luther King get shot? When did he die? You know what I'm saying? When was all that uh, the protesting? You feel me? In the 60s. JFK getting shot. Us wanting to go to the moon. The 60s. All those hippies and shit. Wanting peace and all that shit. The 60s. Women's rights. Women's civil rights movements. The 60s. That's when people started to really wake up to the injustices of this world. The 60s. <laughs> Ain't that shit crazy? That's when the Aquarian age truly happened. But they invented that term conspiracy to debunk the truth. Now, I'm not saying I have to say that every conspiracy that comes out is the truth. Because there are, there is some complete bullshit that niggas be worrying about. Like you got counter conspiracy theorists, right? A counter conspiracy theorist is the person who opposes all the conspiracies that come out. They, 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 they worried about the moon. You know what I'm saying? I, actually, ain't nothing wrong about, about thinking about the moon. But I meant the earth, right? They're worried about if the earth is flat or not. The earth is a fucking spirit. And if the earth is flat, what the fuck that got to do with what's truly going on, bro? 
the earth being flat. Okay, well, let's say you're right and the earth is flat. Then what? Then what comes after that, you dumbass nigga? Like, who fucking cares if the earth is flat, my nigga? There's way more important shit. Like, you, you counter conspiracies, bro? That like to just oppose all the conspiracies to seem like you woke, 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 woke? Like, y'all niggas need to go somewhere, bro. Y'all fucking it up. Y'all fucking it up. And y'all turning niggas off to the shit, bro. Because there's some shit that's really true. But you just want to seem like you ahead of the curve on niggas and come up with some bullshit. And you end up misleading motherfuckers, bro. Like, for you people that, like, don't like to get into conspiracies because it's too much and all that. Like, I get it. I understand, bro. This shit, this child trafficking shit, that shit is gruesome, bro. It's really gruesome. It's a nasty subject, bro. But my only thing is, that's fine. But, like, just, just don't have so much to say to the people that are looking into it. Don't don't call shit conspiracy and, and have, have so many opinions on some shit you don't even research about. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you just watch the news, you just watch social media, and you're just worried about yourself and your life and how everything is going for you, that's fine. I'm not judging you. Just don't have so much to say for the people who's worried about more than that. Because that's what we're worried about more than our, ourselves, bro. We see the chaos. We see the injustice. We know these politicians truly are. So let us do what we're doing. If you don't want to hear about it, that's fine. Just stay in, the, in, the, in your blue pill reality that you're in. And don't fuck with us. That's it. But yeah, that's all I got for y'all today, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep y'all energy up. Stay high. And but I'm going to try to bring y'all videos every three days. No, I ain't going to try. I will bring y'all a video every three days. And I'm going to try to work myself back to going every day. Because like I said in the beginning of the video, I got this new job. It takes my whole day. You know what I'm saying? So I got I to gotta, I gotta get my sleep schedule right in order to bring y'all content every day like I was. But hey, my name is Helvy. I love y'all niggas. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.